I'm here in Centerville with Mr. G. Williams from the State Highway Administration. We're going to get an update on the 301-304 overpass project. How are you doing today? Very well, very well. Thank you for having me. Can you give us a little information or an update on the project? Yes, I'm very pleased to say that the uh, construction actually got underway uh, this uh, early spring and that uh, the initial work is the uh, folks will notice a new J turn being built at the intersection of uh, three, 305 and 301 or Hope Road and that uh, J turn will be completed before the uh, before this construction season ends, which we generally consider uh, late fall, early winter before the holidays. Uh, also, there will be um, paving done on both the southbound and northbound US 301 from 305 down to the railroad tracks. I think everybody's familiar with those, just, just north of the intersection. Yep. And uh, that will make a significant difference because that will also be done by the, by, during this first construction season. And it will reduce our initial work zone from almost five miles from 305 down to Rolling Bridge Road. And then from the end of this year and starting up in 2016, that work zone will then only be two miles from uh, just immediately north, the, ra the railroad, uh, the railroad tracks, south to Rolling Bridge Road, and uh, that, of course, is a, a great benefit to everyone to have a much less uh, dr drawn out uh, work zone. <clears throat> now, in addition, uh, the uh, there will be a lot of prep work and things being done to get ready for the second construction season. The, probably the easiest way for folks to uh, think of the construction season as it definitely is influenced by the weather, <laughs> but uh, it, it generally speaking is uh, late winter, early spring to late fall, early winter. Now this, uh, overall, this means that we started this past spring in 2015, the entire project, everything from, you know, beginning to end will be completed by spring of 2019. So that's four and a half construction seasons. So if you added up the months of actual work, it might not be four and a half years, but it's going to take four and a half years to get the work done. That's good. So how do you think it might affect uh, commuters during this summer's drive season? Uh, the most Im impact it will have on commuters is that folks uh, leaving Centerville and heading east on uh, Maryland 304 will be using a detour bypass, we'll call it, and then that will take them uh, down to the J-turn and then they will go over to uh, continue eastbound on 304. That uh, bypass, uh, it's basically a temporary uh, roadway and ultimately be replaced by permanent lanes. And those permanent lanes, in a, probably by the third construction season, will be in place and you'll, they'll be able to go right by the project each day and watch it rise from the from the ground. Without any, not much effect on your traffic. Not, not too much. Now, yeah. the biggest yeah. effect on traffic that we're anticipating is that there will be single lane closures each of the construction seasons on both the northbound and southbound US 301. They, some will be more noticeable than others because it depends on the timing of the road closure. But in general, uh, once people get used to that relatively short uh, work zone, uh, I think people adapt. Certainly as much work that can be done in non-peak hours, they'll try to do, but to get this, get this very major, very important, very neat uh, interchange uh, created, it will create some temporary delay, uh, delays and slowdowns of traffic on US 301, but not 24 hours a day. Right. There's always a little pain with the game, I'm sure. Yes, yes. So, it's just the nature of the business. It's something they really want here, so it's Well, and it's, you know, I'm just, we're all, I think everyone associated with State Highway Administration, Maryland Department of Transportation, uh, the, 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 the governor's office, every, we, it's so elated that this is happening. Uh, it, it, uh, it, it hopefully will be well, well worth the wait. And you feel like it's going smoothly so far, it sounded like. It's one of those things that, it, it's interesting, I know. Uh, I heard the people uh, about four years ago giving the testimony about uh, you know the, the tragedies that had happened here, and uh, uh, I think everybody was very empathetic. Empathetic, and thank goodness uh, it is it was seen and made a top priority from local all the way to the top, and uh, it is it is going to be uh, a truly modern interchange. When people uh, approach with the two roundabouts in place. 
when they get to the first roundabout, it'll act as a natural uh, traffic calming device. People will have to slow down to negotiate the roundabout. Then they will then cross to the second roundabout. It's such a short distance that they won't be able to gain any significant speed, and it'll keep everything calm and keep everything moving in a very, in a very uh, safe smooth and smooth particularly and safe, safe yeah. way. That's yes. great. I, th I think it'll be. A, it's just go from uh, from a point of concern to hopefully a point of pride over time. That's great. Now, if people want to find out more information about possible road closures or when the best times to maybe avoid that or just updates on the project where can they go online uh, the public can go on and see updates on the project at any time uh, on our state highway website it's uh, roads.maryland.gov or gov roadsmaryland.gov and uh, project updates are done at least every two months sometimes more often depending on uh, the sequence of events and they can just go to the projects page I think. the projects page and uh, it then you'll just have to uh, scroll to the county because all all the uh, counties are uh, all on that same, all, on the same page, page. Yeah. so well, you just have to know that you're in Queen Anne's County and you got it well thanks so much for your time thank you so much for the opportunity and and uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity to let people know it's it's happening